the pilots are obviously the face of, of what goes on and, and we're much the same as drivers, we're the face of the, of the organisation here and we get to do all the cool stuff like drive the car or fly the plane. That is impossible without the people behind us and you see behind us now there's so much activity going on because everyone's got a job to do and if everyone doesn't do their job well then the, the, the cog doesn't mesh and things start to not work properly and it's the same in the in the Air Force environment, it was, you know, there was so much teamwork behind the scenes, so much going on and for us coming in and going through the safety briefing and the fit out and, and all the rest of it and actually experiencing that all first hand was a real eye opener and even the guys on the ground when we went out to the planes, there's so much to do that if everyone didn't do that right then we couldn't take off. These guys in here work, you know, very, very hard and they don't get uh, they don't get to go in the limelight, which is a bit unfortunate. In some ways, it's it's similar. You know, the fighter pilots are a big thing. They're, you know, they're fighter pilots. It's a pretty cool thing. But uh, you know, they got a good bunch of mechanics and engineers looking after their stuff too. Without the team, the driver is a bystander really, and without the driver, the team is the same. So when we let the driver have the car, we expect him to do the best job he can do, and we know that he will. And when he gets in that car, he knows we've done our job to the best of our ability.